Taking pictures and sharing them via social media is very easy to do. Let me show you. To start out, everything is done through actions. To access actions, you need to include an action list on your application, which you can find in the tool palette. The actions that you want to include are the media library actions, which you can get to from new standard actions. Scroll down here to media library, and you have your choice of these three here. Take photo from library, which allows you to access the user's camera roll, and the user can select a photo from there. Or take photo from camera, where the user will be presented with their camera, and they can snap a photo, accept that photo, and send it back to your application. Or show share sheet. Show share sheet is the action that lets you share photos and text via social media. In this demo application, we have the take photo from camera action and the show share sheet action. These actions are assigned to these buttons down at the bottom here. So we just select the button. We see the first property here is action. This one says uh, take photo from camera and the other one is show share sheet. There are events on these actions. So when the user taps this button here, it invokes that action, the take photo from camera action. And that action has an event on did finish taking. And if you were using the take photo from library action, it would actually have the same event. And in here, all we're doing is taking the image that were passed back from the camera and we're assigning it to the bitmap on our form. And that way we just are giving the user a preview of it and persisting it until the user taps the next button. When the user taps the share button, it will select the show share sheet action, which has another event on before execute. And in this event here, all we do is take that bitmap we persisted down here and we assign it to the bitmap property of the share sheet action. The share sheet action also has a text message property that you can use to put text in if you'd rather send text instead of a picture. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. Here we see the app running on Android under Lollipop. I'm going to go ahead and tap take photo. It brings up my camera window and I can tap to take the photo. It gives me the opportunity to accept or reject the photo. So go ahead and accept it. And now we're back in my app with the photo in the preview area here. So at this point it's been assigned and persisted on the form. And then I tap share and I can select Twitter. And then it attaches it to a tweet for me to compose. And at this point I can send my tweet. Here it is running on iPad mini under iOS 8. So I'll tap take photo. Since it's the first time running, it's going to prompt me for permission, so I'll go ahead and allow. Brings up my camera, capture the photo I want, tap Use Photo, and now we're back in the app with the photo persisted. So let's tap Share. We have three categories of options. We can use AirDrop to send it to people nearby. We can use the different social media icons in addition to coming in here and selecting a whole lot of different targets. Or we can save the image, print it, etc through the bottom section here. So let's go ahead and send it via Twitter. 